Well, howdy. It's the law west of the Pecos. Law west of the Pecos. Do you remember your remember your Texas history? Not only real history, but imaginary history. That's right. This is the place of the infamous Judge Roy Bean <laughs> in Langtree, Texas. You may have seen the movie uh, about life and times of Judge Roy Bean. First one I think was made in um, in the 40s with uh, Walter Brennan. American pioneer spirit on the march. First came the cattlemen and with them Roy Bean, a self-appointed judge who took the law into his own hands. Hey! Cool. You and me's friends. I done what I had to and you think it was wrong. But if it was my own son come over here with a warrant, he'd have to be first in the draw. I aim to be. Unless I get it in the back before I get out of here. In fact, I think he may have won a uh, Oscar for that. And then there was another one made in the 70s, I believe. And uh, was that with Paul Newman? Paul Newman is Judge Roy Bean, the man that came from nowhere to become a legend. <laughs> Could you lower the deceased a little bit? He's not in the picture. Lower him. This is the life and times of Judge Roy Bean. But here's the infamous uh, billiard room, saloon over here, and courtroom where Judge Roy Bean meted out justice west of the Pecos. <laughs> this is actually the original courthouse from, eight, from uh, 1900. And saloon. And uh, the judge would meet out punishment and justice from behind the saloon counter or on days that were these were nice and pleasant right here on the porch. There's a lot of history about uh, Roy Bean. Um, as I mentioned, some of it's legendary and some of it's real. But um, <laughs> interesting character. So uh, Roy Bean, he uh, started out in Kentucky. Uh, eventually, he was, he was in the... Uh, freight driving business all over uh, Texas and Southwest down in New Mexico and uh, he followed his brother uh, into San Diego his brother actually was the uh, first mayor of San Diego and um, Roy got into a little problem with the law there got put in jail but he escaped and then his brother eventually uh, uh, had gotten down into New Mexico, was working as a lawman, so he followed his brother down to New Mexico. And then uh, when the railroad was being built uh, between uh, San Antonio and uh, <clears throat> the west coast into San Diego, uh, Roy uh, thought, you know what, this uh, cargo driving business is hard business, and uh, it's a lot easier to make money off uh, whiskey and other and alcohol so he started his um, salooning business would go to uh, um, work camp set up a tent and he'd open the saloon in the work camp <laughs> and he, he eventually uh, like I said he heard about the railroad got here to what was called Eagle's Nest and he changed the name uh, eventually to Langtree in honor of Lily Langtree a uh, British um, actress who he had a uh, crush on and so then um, eventually the, uh, the Pecos area here needed a justice of the peace and by that time uh, Roy was uh, making his own law out here so they appointed him justice of the peace and then he eventually was re-elected a number of times and he had his own unique way of, um, of uh, 
administering justice. And you know, there's um, stories here and there how he was a, a tough lawgiver and he was the hanging judge and all that. And uh, there's not really any evidence that he, uh, he was a hanging judge. There is one story where you know, there were three uh, you know, outlaws or something came into town. Uh, they did something, people caught them. Two of them were remorseful. One of them wasn't, and so they let the two go. And then they, the, with the one guy that wasn't remor remorseful, they said, all right, you've been sentenced to hanging. <laughs> so they took him to a train car and started putting him up on a, on a noose, and he was pleading for his life. And uh, <laughs> it's an interesting story. So they, they strung the uh, noose around his neck, and um, <laughs> they got another cowboy on the other side of the train car with the tying the rope to the horse's saddle so that, uh, you know, to hang him, they just have the horse go and the noose would tighten around the guy's neck and pull him up the train car. So then one of the guys uh, that was in the uh, quote unquote hanging party said, Now, man, let me tell you this you got a way to get out of this. You know, when everybody closes their eyes or looks, when they look away, just take that noose off and get hightailing out of here. And so, <laughs> and so when they were starting the uh, starting to process, then then uh, Judge Roy he said, "Okay, now that we've uh, um, commenced the sentence, let's all uh, take off our hats, close our eyes, raise our head, heads to God, and just pray for the." unremorseful soul this poor poor guy and when they did that that was the guy's uh, tip to uh, <laughs> take that noose off and get hightailing out of there <laughs> so now whether that was a true story or not uh, it's, a, it's a story nonetheless so uh, <laughs> but uh, because there wasn't any any jail here in Langtree and there's no means to hold prisoners uh, Judge Roy's punishment typically was uh, levying fines to the offender. And so uh, legend has it again that he uh, made himself very rich handsomely with a lot of the money from the fines. There's a history of the law of west of the Pecos and yeah, but uh, it's a good place to stop, I think. So, uh, but now that we've stopped here, let's move on and see what else we can see. Well, howdy. What do you think I should do? Go to Mexico or stay in Texas?